With a little over a week left on Mess Chamorro, officers of the Guam Police Department are still hoping a change can be made with a policy that has recently been enforced by Colonel Joseph Carbolito. As KUM reported, it was last week when we were made aware of an order that banned the use of the Sanahi, citing it gave an unprofessional appearance. A few days after our story aired, added to the order was a ban of any cultural statement. According to a letter from an anonymous officer delivered to KUAM earlier this week, Carbolito is citing an old policy, and even though he was made aware of the new policy, which allows for the use of the Sanahi and other jewelry, he's keeping to the old order. The new policy, which went into effect September 20, 2019, states under jewelry adornment for uniform personnel, items of personal jewelry in good taste may be worn in conjunction with the uniform. It goes on to say that necklaces that do not present a safety hazard can be concealed under the clothing. For non-uniform personnel, along with personal jewelry in good taste, in all cases, items of jewelry will be prohibited if they detract from the effectiveness of the officer. KUAM spoke to the Lieutenant Governor of Guam, Joshua Tenorio, on the matter. I support uh, the culture and uh, I've received some concerns from some officers about it. I'm looking into it, you know, I mean, when you're in a paramilitary organization, there's rules. Uh, but, you know, I'm always one of those that uh, at certain times, right, and for certain reasons, um, there should be, you know, some accommodations. Although he hasn't had a chance to sit down with Chief Stephen Ignacio and Carbolito to understand the rationale behind the order, he plans to do so. For me, I'm always wanting to work things out. And the Lieutenant Governor's response to officers with concerns? Of course, those are valid concerns and uh, I'll take a look at it. You know, we don't get involved in uniform policies and things like that, but of course, you know, the Chief is our appointee. So we'll talk to him and we'll see what, uh, how they'll be able to reconcile the concerns. Jonathan Charfris, KM News. Officers on the force, some of them moving to 